Okay, here we go. Part 14. This part I'm going to work on some more texturing. Hopefully we can get quite a ways through. As you can see, uh, where we left off last time, um, actually in the supplemental, I went ahead and created the goggles and brought them in. We'll texture those also, but uh, I probably won't use a UV map on them. Those will just be procedural textures and just just some solid colors. So anyways, okay, so we got the uh, the texture map going on this guy. Um, and I'm working on it in Photoshop, so I'll go ahead and bring that up. And here's where we left off last time. We just uh, did a just a blue shape here to to show where uh, the, the suit's going to be on the model. But uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use blue, but uh, we'll mess with that here in a little while. First off, I'm going to start on the face. Give it a nice flesh tone. Just going to grab my pen tool over here. I'm using Photoshop for those of you just joining me. Um, if you don't have Photoshop, you could probably use GIMP. I've never used it myself, otherwise I would be using it now to show you because it's also open source. But, as I said, I've never used it, so I would have to take a few tutorials myself before I could show someone else how to use it. Anyways, so I'll just use Photoshop for now. And hopefully there's some corresponding tools in any other software that you might use to create your map. Anyways, so I just uh, drew a, a shape uh, with the basic skin tone for a Caucasian such as myself um, and I just when I started drawing it was on top of this layer so I wanted to put it below it so I could I could see where I'm going okay so we got the basic skin tone now I want to go in and start adding a few uh, subtle color changes so I'm gonna grab I'm just gonna create a blank layer and I'm going to grab my paintbrush and grab, let's just see, uh, it might be a little big, we'll get that size, and make the hardness down to zero so it's a nice uh, <coughs> airbrush look. And so I'm going to give him some rosy cheeks, so I'm going to grab color and I'm just going to make a little more, a little more pinkish and uh, change the opacity way down because we want to don't want him to be wearing makeup, just want a subtle gradation of color. So I'll put it down to about 10%. Just kind of just kind of just start painting over where I want it to be. So just over the cheeks, maybe a little bit on the chin, a little bit on the tip of the nose, maybe up the center of the nose a little bit, and a little bit around the forehead area, just a little. It's kind of a go ahead and turn off the uh, the coordinates if you kind of want to see it a little a little more closely what it's going to look like okay and now I want to get just get some white and kind of paint on top of that a little bit so it's like a highlight on his cheeks his nose top of the eyebrows okay and let's zoom in a little bit here make my brush a little smaller just kind of top of the between the nose and the mouth okay and we can kind of see where his lips are going to be because we kind of outlined that in the in the UV map this is like the the inside go ahead and grab my uh, other uh, tool uh, this is the inside of the mouth and so this line right here is probably going to be the outside of the lip. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my pen tool again and change my color to a darker maroon, sort of a almost an orange color but not quite. We want to kind of go flesh tone but a little bit more red so and not quite so dark. If we were making a girl, you might want to make it bright red lips or something to indicate that she's wearing lipstick or something. But since it's a guy, he's going to have a little bit more flesh tone lips. So we'll just kind of start drawing around the uh, the shape here that the the UV map is showing us. Okay, and there we go. Go ahead and turn off the map again. That might be a little harsh transition, 
So what I'm going to do is a little Photoshop trick here. Like I said, I'm not familiar with any other software, so this may not work in those. But uh, I'm going to do an outer glow, but I don't want it to be the yellowish white. I want it to be the same color as the lips themselves, and I want it to be a normal blend mode. So now, change the opacity all the way up. I can change the edge of it to where it's like a, a softer edge. Kind of adjust the size of it. And there we go. Okay. Now let's go ahead and save this. Save it as a JPEG. Texture map, save. Replace the ones there. Okay, quality. Go back into Blender. And click on our model. Go back into the materials button and, and it looks like it refreshed it already on here but I just need it to refresh it in the viewport so we can kinda of see what we're doing so let me see this just a solid and back to shaded will that work no textured no I guess I might have to just render it out let's see it's F12 render it out Okay, that's not looking too bad. It's a little shiny, but we can turn that down. Uh, his, his cheeks might be a little too rosy, but uh, that's not a big deal right now. I really wish that would uh, update that. Let's try reloading that. Nothing, huh? Okay, well, anyways, we'll just uh, kind of play with it and just kind of learn as we go. Okay, so I'll just keep painting the, like I said, the cheeks looked a little too rosy in that one spot, so I'll just kind of expand that out some. Just kind of paint in there, kind of hard to see with the opacity of the brush turns so far down. Okay, and so we want the same color to go along the back of the head, which is right there. So, I'm going to turn off my, my UV coordinates and go ahead and use my eyedropper to select that color that we made on the face. Grab my pen tool again, turn those coordinates back on, and draw over the back of the head. And I'll go ahead and draw over where the ear is. And while we're at it, just draw over everything that is going to have this skin tone. So the, these hands will have it as well. Oops, got a little outline there. And I guess I just do like this here. Okay. So, looking good. Okay. Just go ahead and save it. I guess I went for save for web. That's not what I want. I'm, using, <laughs> I'm a web designer by trade, so that was just. My muscle memory in my hands just wanted to hit Control Shift Alt S instead of just Control Shift S. Anyways, yes, want to replace. Okay, all right, back to Blender. Reload that texture. See if it'll show us now shaded. Still not. I wonder why that shows at the the one time, but not not the rest of the times. Hmm. Oh well. Let's go ahead and arrange the camera so we can kind of see. I'm going to go ahead and go into 3D view in this one and swap it to camera view. And I'm going to adjust the camera in this view so I can kind of see. Oh, there it goes. Now it's showing. That's good. Okay, well, that's good. And I'll just go ahead and pop back into just NLA, NLA editor there, just a different window. Okay, so we got the skin tone around the whole head. Let's go ahead and add another light there so we can see it. Shift D. I'll show another lighting setup later on, but for now we'll just go with the, scene, the regular scene lights that are default in there. Okay, so now, you kind of see we missed a spot here on his cheek, so we'll go back and fix that. But everything else is looking okay. I want to go ahead and turn that sheen way down. Specular, so he's not so shiny. We don't want him to be shiny. That's better. Okay. Good, and then the fingertips, the gloves will be black, black leather, and I guess that's about all that's going to be flesh tone. Looks like his lips are going to be about right. That's good. So 
I need to do the inside of the mouth. I need to fix that right there. So let's pop back into Photoshop, turn our mat back on. Where did we miss it? Uh, let's zoom way in here. Uh, looks like we missed it on right there. Let's grab that, move it out. All covered. Make sure everything's within its lines. Yes, stay within the lines. The lines are our friends, as they told us in kindergarten class. Okay, while I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and paint on the ear a little bit. Give it a little bit of some of this red color, too. A little pink. Come back in. Grab my paintbrush. Go up to a layer that I can paint on. Make my brush a little smaller. And just start painting. Here's make it a little darker. There we go. Just kind of paint a loopy color on here. I don't know if that's a word, loopy. But I'll, I'll say it. Okay. Back of the head probably doesn't need much. Maybe just uh, a little spot here. Maybe something over here. That'll be fine. Okay, inside of the mouth. Let's grab the color we used for the lips. And this is going to be the inside of the mouth right here. Just draw around in here like so. And now I want to create another blank layer on top of that. So I want to make it a little darker inside the mouth. So I'm going to grab a darker color there. Paint inside the bounds. I want to get to the edges because that's where it meets the lips. We don't want a, a, a you know, a, a, a quick jump in color. We just want it to, to blend nicely. It's kind of turning to brown, isn't it? Let's get a little more maroon color. Oops, swap. There we go. Okay, so now the tongue is going to be right there in that big mass of vertices that we can see. So I'll grab that color just in case it's a little off and draw around the tongue. Okay, go and drag that below the UV map so I can see what I'm doing. And this part here is going to be the center of the tongue so I want to make it a little bit lighter. Just paint. I guess I'll create another blank layer. There we go. Paint down the center of the top. There we go. <coughs> okay. So let's turn that off. Got control shift S, save, change to JPEG, texture map, save. Yes, I want to replace. Okay. Back to Blender. Go to our map and reload it. Okay. How did I get that to work before? Ah, I guess just grabbing the camera and moving it does the trick. Okay. How's that looking? Okay. See the inside of his mouth looking looking pretty good. Got the white teeth because we because remember that uh, that white or the, excuse me that just that basic square that we had in the UV map that we just threw up into the corner way up here if you can see it so just that little box all it's got in it is white so that's what color the teeth are we could go ahead and uh, add another color to them but uh, I think that just the white teeth will be fine okay so we got his head mapped nicely okay now let's work, let's do his, his fingernails real quick. Okay, and where are they? Those are right there. Okay, so now I want to grab the same skin tone and let's draw around where the fingernail's gonna be. And through another layer style on here, it's gonna be like a gradient overlay, but it's going to be 
a radial and I want to change the blend mode so there's let's go back up here I'll just use this just the normal blend mode and I want the middle of it to be more of sort of a pinkish color let's grab that color and just make it a little bit more pink okay and then grab the white side color make it a little bit more pink but not as much see how there let's make that a little darker okay can't tell much of a difference here can I play with it until it looks about like your fingernail the center of it we'll go ahead and add another shape to get that rounded white color at the top go ahead and drop get rid of this effect layer there we go I just want that to be white and I'm going to change the opacity down about 40 percent and I'm going to do the same thing across the front so we get that half moon shape across the where your fingernails start coming out the over the edge of your finger and it's going to have the same attributes as the previous layer okay so turn that off okay looks good control uh, control shift s change to jpeg texture map save yes I want to replace okay back to blender Grab this guy and let's grab our camera, move it. Okay. Did it fix it? Oh no, I gotta refresh the texture, I guess. Reload it. There we go. Now grab the camera, move it. I don't know why grabbing the camera is the thing that makes it refresh, but at least I figured out what did it. Okay, well it looks like I got his fingernails a little too dark. So let's pop back into Photoshop. And let's take that layer effect we added and just knock its opacity way down about 50 percent okay now control shift control shift s save as jpeg texture map save yes okay back to blender reload that feather open camera mode try to move it around a little bit and just rotate back out there we go that looks a lot better Okay, and I'll bet you if we render it, I can actually move my camera. Let's throw him into solid view so we can move around a little easier. There we go. Zoom in some. I'll bet you now it'll render and it'll look pretty decent. Not too bad. I guess that'll that'll work. Okay. So we got the flesh tone all pretty well done. Now let's work on the costume. Go ahead and back into Photoshop, zoom out. Turn that back on. Okay, so now the uniform. Let's see. I was playing around with some settings earlier. I don't think I want it to be blue. Let's make it white, see what we can come up with. So we want a white uniform and I created the a vectorized version of the Blender logo earlier. Here it is. I want to grab this and move it over here. Scale it down. I don't want to put it in the center of the chest. That's for me. That's uh, that's too cliche superhero outfit. So I'm going to try to make it a little different. Just over to the right, maybe. See what this make it part of his outfit or something. I don't know. Let's see. Put it right there. Or, you know what? I don't want to get that technical with it. We'll just make it cliche, like I said. There we go. Don't really have time to get into a extremely detailed, fancy outfit, so we'll just throw it right there. And let's make his boots match that orange. And see, these were the boots up here, right? So just draw those. And they still got the same color as the previous.
previous shape that we drew, or do they? Yeah, why does it have the pink color? Okay. Hmm. Bring this all the way up to the top. That's odd. Shows the right color over here, and shows the right color here, but... Ah, I see, it's transparency, is, <laughs> it's opacity is way down. There we go. Now the boots are the right color. I want to go ahead and make the bottom of them black, so black rubber sole. So just draw another shape over that. I do a lot of shape drawing when I'm doing my texture maps. It's a lot easier that way. And opacity 100. There we go. Actually, not solid black, but more of a like really dark gray, dark, dark rubbery color. Same thing on the gloves. Not solid black but just sort of a dark gray same as the boots I'll just copy there we go okay and I guess I'll make his belt orange with the blue belt buckle and we'll see what that looks like keeps putting it above that shape Okay, and yeah, we'll grab that blue, draw one more shape over the belt buckle itself, and let's adjust that, and change its color to blue. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Turn off the guides there. Extra map save, yes, okay. Back to Blender, grab him, reload, and pop the camera view, move it around a little bit, pop back to shaded, and move the camera again. Okay. How's that look? Does that look any good at all? Pop back to zoom out. So now I go back to uh, solid view so I can move around easier. Zoom out just a little bit more. Okay, now I'll do a, an actual render and see what it, how it looks rendered. Not too bad. Uh, I guess that's what I'll go with for now. Um, and looks like I'm past my my time limit, so that's as far as I'll go today. I might go ahead and change the color of the belt, make it black also. But uh, for right now, that's, that's as far as I'm going to go with this, this segment. Get back and uh, come back in part 15. We'll finish the texturing and, uh, and maybe get into a little bit more. I'll start make, working on the, the hair. Or actually, we'll probably finish the texturing on the outfit and then texture the goggles. And then maybe work on the eyeballs. We'll see. See where we get. Okay. Thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you in part 15.